Hello, in this video we're going to do some consumption function problems. We'll start with a consumption function for the macroeconomy. C equals 100 plus 0.75y. C is consumption spending. Y is real GDP or real income. Uh, the 0.75 is the marginal propensity to consume. 100 is a vertical intercept. Y is 0. C equals 100, the vertical intercept. We want to solve for the level of income where saving is 0. If saving is zero, then consumption will equal income. So all I'm going to do now is make a substitution here. Where I have a C, I am going to put in a Y. And now I'm going to solve this equation for Y. Subtracting 0.75Y from both sides. On the left-hand side, we're going to get 1Y minus 0.75Y, or 0.25Y. And then dividing through by 0.25. 100 divided by 0 0.25 is 400. So when income is 400, consumption should be also 400 and saving 0. We can double check that. So note at y equals 400. We plug that into the consumption function. We're going to get also 400. So c equals y. There is 0 saving. Let's do another problem. Here again is a consumption function. Um, we want to find the size of the government spending multiplier. So recognizing in the consumption function the, the slope here, uh, this parameter in front of the y term is the marginal propensity to consume. Recalling the government spending multiplier is 1 divided by 1 minus the marginal propensity to consume. In this case, MPC is 0.9. So 1 divided by 0.1 is 10. And our last problem in problem two, using problem two, if income increases by $300, what happens to consumption spending? So the change in consumption will equal the marginal propensity to consume times the change in income. So 0.9 times the change in income of 300 means consumption spending will rise by $270. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.